Hi, Joel with SolidBox here. Today we're going to review the two most common monitors that we sell. The 24-inch P2412H model and the 27-inch U2711. So let's go ahead and jump right in and talk about the technical specifications on the 24-inch. This is the Dell 24-inch LED anti-glare monitor. We find it's a great value. It's our most commonly sold product. It's the best bang for your buck. It's a 16 by 9 aspect ratio, and the resolution is a 1920 by 1080. It's got a 5 millisecond response time. Now, a function of the 24-inch monitor that we really like is you can turn this monitor vertical or horizontal. When turned vertical, it's got a 160 degree viewing angle. When turned horizontal, it's got a 170 degree viewing angle. Let's take a look at some of the connection ports and options that you have with the 24 inch model. On the left side of the monitor, you're going to have two USB 2.0 ports. This is awesome. You'll find yourself never having to crawl underneath your desk looking for that one available USB port to plug in your flash drive to move files. On the bottom of the monitor, you'll find a DVI, one VGA, and a USB type B connector. There's also a DC port so you can power a optional speaker bar that attaches to the monitor. Now we all like our monitors set up a little bit differently. I'm a fan of the 24 inch monitor because it allows you to swivel, tilt, and fully adjust the height of your monitor. I personally use the 24 inch monitors in a dual monitor setup. It's been my favorite workflow so far. It gives me enough acreage that I can spread out my software and not have to trickle through all my different windows to find what I'm looking for. It's the most bang for your buck monitor that we offer and it's our most commonly sold product with our bundles. Now if 24 inches isn't enough to satisfy your needs, maybe you need to look into the 27 inch monitor. It's the Dell U2711. Now for that review, I'm gonna kick it over to Bruce. He's gonna talk a little bit more about its features and performance. Hey guys, it's Bruce. As Joel mentioned, I'm going to be talking to you a little bit today about the U2711 monitor that we offer our high-end users. Uh, there's a few things that set this monitor apart from some of the other offerings at SolidBox, and one of those things is resolution. This monitor offers a 2560 by 1440 display resolution, which is a much higher resolution than what you'd find on even a full HD monitor, which is only 1920 by 1080. Um, the other thing that this has is a 16 by 9 aspect ratio, which is the same aspect ratio that you'd find in most HD video these days. Um, it also offers an anti-glare coating as well as a matte finish. And I know sometimes that's uh, kind of a debate as whether do you, whether you like a glossy or matte finish. Um, I tend to prefer uh, the matte finish for the type of work that I do. And as far as connection options, there's plenty. Uh, this has a display port, HDMI connection, a DVI connection, a VGA connection, a component video connection, and even some USB and other audio connections. So again, there's plenty of options uh, depending on the type of hardware uh, you use and what your needs are. Uh, but the main thing that really sets this monitor apart from the other offerings is the fact that it is a wide color gamut monitor. Uh, it comes factory tuned with an Adobe RGB and an sRGB color profile. And we'll talk a little bit later as to why that's an important feature and you know, how that'll help you in making the decision uh, to buy this monitor or not. So let's get into a little bit about the pros and cons of this monitor. And I'd like to focus on three main areas that will hopefully help you make a better decision as to whether or not this is the right monitor for you. Uh, the first area is resolution. Now, without a doubt, this is an awesome monitor. I mean, the clarity and the crispness of everything is, I mean, it's unlike anything I've ever had before. I was just amazed at how great everything looked. Um, but because it is a high resolution monitor, uh, it comes at a price. And that is mainly in how legible uh, things like icons and menu items are uh, because they become very small and sometimes hard to read, especially depending on the program. And since I wear glasses, um, sometimes it's always been hard to, to read things anyways. But with this monitor, I actually have to have a different pair of glasses that has a different prescription uh, to be able to see things a little bit easier uh, and not have to squint my eyes so much to, to see those things. 
Um, I also have to go into window settings and change some of the font size settings um, and you know again be able to see things more clearly. So if you have a hard time with small icons and menus then this this monitor may actually bother you a little bit in that aspect. The other area is regarding color. And again, the colors on this monitor are just amazing. I mean, very bold, very accurate colors. Uh, however, if you're not familiar with what color spaces and color profiles are, uh, if, if you don't understand the difference between Adobe RGB and sRGB and CMYK, if, if anything I just said went over your head, then this is probably not the monitor for you. Uh, the reason is you're going to run into many situations where you know the colors don't quite look right or, or something looks a bit off and it's not that anything's wrong with the monitor or your video card or anything it's just that you're dealing with different color spaces and you're dealing with programs that either are color managed or aren't color managed and so it could be very confusing to you if you're not familiar with these things. The times where you would probably run into this is if you are dealing with rendering programs or other graphics programs where you're trying to adjust the colors and get them just the way you want. So it's just something to take into account uh, when considering this, this monitor. The third area is workflow. And this is really the main reason why somebody would choose this option over some of the other offerings that we have. And that is if you are accustomed to or understand the benefits of a dual monitor setup and workflow, but uh, for whatever reason, maybe you don't have the space for two monitors, this is a great alternative to a dual monitor setup. Um, for those maybe not familiar, uh, having two monitors at your disposal to be able to have multiple programs and windows open uh, really helps you in being able to speed things up sometimes. Uh, for example, being able to have an email program uh, like Outlook or if you're in a corporate environment, probably Lotus Notes, uh, and then having maybe like an Excel spreadsheet open and being able to copy and paste from one program to another uh, really is helpful sometimes. Um, as I mentioned, you know, you simply may, there may be times where you simply don't have room uh, for two monitors. You, maybe it's because your desk uh, can't fit it or because of the cubicle layout or for whatever reason. And that's really where this product shines is being able to give you a dual monitor workflow in a single monitor setup. And the way it's accomplished is through some of the tools available in Windows 7 of being able to drag your window to the edge of the monitor and have it expand to half the screen. And so by having that you're able to get that dual monitor type of workflow. So again, this is the type of person who we think should seriously consider getting the U2711 over the other offerings that we have. And that would be number one, uh, if you simply don't have space for a dual monitor setup, but you want the benefits of a dual monitor workflow. This is going to be a great solution to that. Uh, number two, if your job involves color critical applications or print delivery items, uh, then you're going to need this monitor simply uh, for its capabilities. Uh, and number three, if you simply have superhuman uh, vision and you simply want the best, you want the best viewing experience, this is going to be a great monitor for you. Uh, I think you'll really be happy with it. Um, it, it really is a great monitor. Uh, so that pretty much wraps up this review. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to get more videos. Uh, regarding setting up your monitor and optimizing uh, its workflow with your hardware. Uh, but until then, uh, hopefully you found this useful. And as always, you know, feel free to give us a call or send us an email if you have any questions. And uh, we'll see you next time. Let's do that again. Chop that. <laughs> cut that. All right. All right, cut that. <sighs> this makes me hate Chris. Or have to start over. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that doesn't make sense. This is the type of person that we think, whatever, this bunch of... Chop that real quick. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing. Horizontal or vertical orientation. Vertical or horizontal. Fart. <laughs> As I mentioned, this... I didn't mention it. My, why... Stupid squirrel! <laughs> Go away, squirrel. You're bothering me. Be gone. Not all men were created equal. We're all different shapes and sizes. Take your lines. I have no closing statement.
That's a weird ending. Number one, if you simply, number two, if your job, and number three, um, what is it, number three? Rick Perry, darn you, yes! Let's do that one more. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> Satisfy your needs. It's our. <laughs> what a weird pause. Why am I coming off as a dork? Not all of them. Features and performance of that. Monitor. Bundle packages. Weird. Chop it. Weird. Cut it.